Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. We are continuing on with fractions. We've done adding and subtracting, and we are doing multiplying fractions today. There's one major difference between adding fractions and multiplying fractions, and that is we do not need a common denominator when we multiply fractions. So this makes your life a bit easier, doesn't it? Yes, so that's the most important thing. We don't need a common denominator. However, if you have mixed numbers, like this one, convert them into improper fractions before you multiply. Okay? And we'll talk about this step when we get there. So, first thing, is it multiplying? Yes. yes. Do we need a common denominator? No. no. So basically what we do is we multiply the tops together and we multiply the bottoms together. Right? However, we need to see if anything in the numerators, any of the numerators, have something in common with the numbers in the denominators. We talked about common factors, didn't we? Yeah. Yes, so 3, does it have any factors in common with 5 and 7? No. Yes or no? No. No. Does 2 have any factors in common with 5 and 7? No. no. So if that is not the case, you can multiply the top two numbers and you can multiply the bottom two numbers. We need to close our books now and listen. What's 3 times 2? 6. Six. What's 5 times 7? 35. 35. Is it an improper fraction? No. So can we leave it like that? Yes. yes. Next one. 1. Does it have anything in common with 3 and 15? 1 is always a common factor, but that's not going to change anything. 7. Does it have any common factors with 3 and 15? No. If that is the case, what do we do? Times the tops together and times the bottoms together. 1 times 7? Seven. 3 times 15? 45. Well done. Now, next one is a little bit different. 3 quarters times 2 fifths. Do 2 and 4 have a factor in common? Are they both divisible by a common number? Yes. 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 What is that number? 2. 2. Can I divide both 2 and 4 by 2? Yes. That is also called as cancelling out in common language. So that's what this means. Cancel a number in the numerator with a number in the denominator. What that basically means is you divide the numerator and divide the denominator by the same number. Remember we did it when we were finding equivalent fractions? Yes. So you can only cancel something in the numerator with something in the denominator. If they are both on the same level, you can't. It's a sin. Is that clear? Yes. Now, 2 and 4, can they both be divided by 2? Yes. yes. So rather than writing, you can write this way. Can you please stop that? You don't have to do this. You can just show this cancelling. 2 divided by 2 is? 1. 4 divided by 2 is? 2. two. two. Are there any other common factors that we can do? No. Any more cancelling? No. Or in other words, we're simplifying the fractions. Anything in the top? Can be divided if they can be divided with the same number with something at the bottom we do that to simplify our numbers what do we get three times one three. two times five ten. ten now what if if you miss that important step what if you did not think of cancelling so I'm going to redo that question again and show you what you can do let's say you did not cancel because you were not paying attention, and you did. 3 times 2? 6. 4 times 5? 20. Now you should realize that 6 and 20 have some common factors. They're both divisible by certain numbers. You can cancel now. So 6 and 20, are they both divisible by 2? Yes. All right, you can do it now. 6 divided by 2? 2. 3. 20 divided by 2? Do you get the same answer? Yes. However, I don't want you to do it this way. I want you to simplify first and then multiply. Can anyone think of a good enough reason why? Okay. It's quicker. It's quicker? Why is it quicker? Because with bigger numbers, you might be having to multiply more. Exactly. Let's look at the next number. Can you do 27 times 15 in your head? I can't. You probably can. You don't know working out for your questions. Anyone else can? No. So you'll do, waste your time. You'll do the big multiplication, long multiplication. Then you'll figure out what 9 times 20 is. 
and that's going to waste a lot of time. So it's quicker if you do the cancelling first and then multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms. Does that make sense now? Yeah. So even though we have this method, do I want you to use it? No. no. I want you to use the smarter method. We work hard, but we also need to work smarter. Now, 20 and 27, do they have any common factors? What numbers are 20 is divisible by? 2, 5, 10, 20? 27 divisible by any of those numbers? No. 15 and 20. So anything on top with anything on bottom. Are they both divisible by 5? Yes. Can I divide both of them by 5? Yes. Thank you. 20 divided by 5 is? 15 divided by 5 is? 3. Now, I can divide 3 and 9 as well by a number? Yes. What is that number? 3. 3. 3 divided by itself? 1. 9 divided by 3? 3. There's some more cancelling to do. Can you think of any? Um, you can change it 27 to 9 and 3 to 1. Well done. 3 and 27, both divisible by? 3. 3, three divided by 3? 27 divided by 3? Can you see how easy our numbers are now? 4 times 1? 4. 9 times 1? 9. So isn't it quicker to do this way? Yes. Rather than trying to figure out what 27 times 15 is. Happy with that? Yes. So you must try and simplify first, not in the end. Okay, because it will work for little numbers, but not for the bigger numbers. Next one. Now, is that a mixed numeral? Yes. yes. We convert it into improper, improper fractions. fractions. Eyes on the board. Sorry. 1 times 11, which is? 11. Plus 4? 15. 15. And what about the denominator? It stays the same. 5 and 15, they're both divisible by 3. Oh, they're both divisible by? Five. Five divided by five? One. Fifteen divided by five? Three. Any more cancellations? No. What do we do now? Multiply the numerators together. Multiply the denominators together. Three times three is nine. One times eleven is? Eleven. Now, I wrote the heading multiplying fractions. I've got three eighths and then I've got twenty-four. Is twenty-four a fraction? Yes. yes. Can I write it as a fraction? Yes. yes. How? Twenty-four over one. Exactly. So if it confuses you, you can write it as twenty-four over one. Okay? Same procedure. Three and eight. Anything in common? Any factors in common? Yes. Which factors are common? Yeah. Uh, 8 and 24. Yeah, 8 and 24, yes. So 24 and 8 are both divisible by? 3. 3. three. Yeah, 8 actually, not 3. They're both divisible by 8. Yeah. 8 is not divisible by 3, but 8 goes four. into both of them. Four. And 4. And 4, <laughs> yes, but I'll choose the bigger number. You can div divide them by 4 and then further divide them by 2, or you can divide them both by 8 in one go. Either way, it's fine, but 3, no. Now, 8 divided by itself? 1. 24 divided by 8? 3. And then, times the tops. 3 times 3? 9. 1 times 1? 1. Do I need to write the 1 there? No, it looks ugly. Get rid of it. What do you write? 9. 9. That's it. Multiplying fractions. Do we need a common denominator? No. no. Do we need to convert them into um, a mixed number? Yes. Yeah. Mixed number. Yes. Sorry, improper. <laughs> Do we need to convert them into an improper? Yes. yes. Fra number, uh, fraction, yes. And what else? Do we simplify first or in the end? First. 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 We try and cancel anything. Can I cancel two things that are on the same level? Can I cancel two numbers in the denominator? No. What is it? Assume. Can we cancel two numbers in the denominator? No. Can I? No. You're not confident enough. Can I? No. no. What can we cancel? Something in the top? With something at the bottom. And once we've cancelled everything, what do we do? We put our pens down and listen. We're still not copying. 
What do we do? Once we've cancelled everything? That's it. Once we've cancelled everything from top with everything in the bottom, that's possible. We times the numerators together and we times the denominators together. That's it. Any questions? Yeah. We end up with a proper fraction we convert to the shape. Yes, I was about to say that if your final answer is an improper fraction, you should convert it into a mixed number. Okay? That's it. Get on with your work. Thank you.